from our friend who might be better at 350 to always just drive up. This green crew is just real relaxed. A lot of people, when they play office, a lot of pressure on them. But look, this energy that we talked about earlier in the year, they feel very confident making dumb plays. And maybe we'll even see a different afternoon, a different team energy with Mike Trout there. Tough to finish out the year this month underway for Hunter Phillips. One of the greatest swing pitching players to ever play. Let's learn a little bit more about him. with one idea in mind, that I will do anything I need to do to win. I wish I could apply it to Adam Duvall, his old teammate Herman Reiner, and new player Manny Machado. I've won under different organizations with multiple teams and had tournaments across the globe. But my competition is even greater than it was before. There will always be those who attempt to take my title but there's only one thing stopping me. I'm not done yet. Ladies and gentlemen, up to gaming versus Team Edwards. Let's send it down to Captain Matt. Oh boy, oh boy. I am very excited for this, folks. It is day one of the CWL Challenge Open presented by the PS4. And it is prime time. I'm joined by Stretch for what is the biggest match of night tonight. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, these two teams, rivals throughout the beginning of, you know, really all the way back to the beginning of Call of Duty Esports. Up until now, and I know I'm back in, out inside with Scump and Formal before this game, and they are really excited to play against Envy. They want to beat Envy bad. Oh, yeah, and you know this Envy squad, they want to beat Optic Gaming just as bad because you heard our analyst mention as of late, Envy have not been getting the better side of Optic Gaming. And a big stat to point out coming into this match, obviously both these teams sitting at 1-0. Every player in this lobby has above a 1.0 KD. These guys have been dominant so far in their first series. And look, I mean, to keep a rivalry alive, one side has to win yes, sometimes. I mean, you can't true. be a rival when one side is just dominating these games. So Envy needs to come out, have a good performance here. They have a great chance. I mean, if they're able to win this, they take the top spot in their pool. Yeah, and this is definitely going to be one to watch out for everyone predicted that it would be Optic and Envy sitting up top pool A. Now we get to really see who will be the team taking that lead and the advantage going into Saturday. This will be both these teams' final series of the night. Reminder, after this, we still have FaZe Clan versus Luminosity on prime time. But Matt, so far from what you've seen, that man right there is a scary individual. Dude, he is crushing. Formal has been an absolute monster yeah. all tournament long. I mean, really, from Atlanta loser bracket all the way through SWC to now, he has just been dominant. And I think it's just he's been putting in so much more time than a lot of these other players. I mean, I always see him, you know, on stream playing eights or scrims yep. or whatnot, just put so much time into the game. I think that's a big thing. He's just playing more in general. Yeah. Eights, scrims, just getting online every single day. The guy's been streaming a ton, and it shows in his gameplay. I've been reading everywhere, whether it's Twitter, Reddit, on different social media, whether you're a fan of optic gaming or not, people are now developing that just over overbearing respect for what it's like LeBron right now. yeah I hate LeBron I'm a Laker fan I think LeBron's the best player in the league by far <laughs> I would never argue that I mean the guy is Very just true. that damn good yeah I mean I, I was talking with Teep in the back I can't remember the time where we've had like a clear-cut best player and the disparity between him and the next like you would say foremost the best player right now who's the second best player you can't tell me it's just so wide open and just such a disparity between the top and the rest right now well here's a look at map number one where we get to see a formal Ken go off it's retaliation hard point Matt I'm ready to go folks in the venue make some noise it's optic gaming versus envy in retaliation hard point I think this first hill is going to be really telling how Envy comes out and play. Uh, you're going to need to see their long-range assault rifles and Slasher and JCAP be able to pick up kills at range, kind of make Formal move out of those advantageous positions in the back. And they know how Formal likes to play. These two teams have a lot of experience against each other now. Some of the longest standing veterans in Call of Duty, many Call of Duty championship victories between these squads. Formal right now has a 1.64 respawn KD in his first few games so far this event. As he looks to build on that here, it's currently Envy in control of the hard point. 
as uh, you got Apathy heating up with this NV4. Well, this map actually may end up playing in Envy's favor a little bit, Jack, because you do have, it's a little bit longer, obviously, longer sight lines. So it's going to be difficult to get up in close range with the K-bars and even, you know, let's say Skump on a run an ERAT. Not going to really be possible here. It actually may play out in favor a little bit more towards Envy. Well, right now we do see Envy with that little lead, as you mentioned. Woo! JCap with the nice snapshots down onto Formal. He's at five and one right now. Let's talk about JCap because this man, yes, he's not known statistically for being the biggest player on this team, but JCap just knows how to win. Why? Why is that? What makes JCap so great at just getting championships? I mean, look, he's been playing for years, right? Started out one of the best assault rifles in Call of Duty esports, and then kind of transitioned into a little bit like an objective player role, and then he now just kind of fills any position. I mean, we do see at times he comes through with these big kill games, but really it's all about just filling in gaps, playing smart, you no know, kind of leading this team to success. And uh, you know, it takes a lot for a player who is like a, a top flight player, top flight slayer, to kind of step back and take a different role. Not many players would be able to do it. He lets his teammates be the superstars, but right now he's the one leading it all at eight and three. We'll go ahead, swap our attention over to Optic Gaming, where we have been talking a lot about Envy so far in this one, but it's actually OG up by about 10 seconds. As we begin the rotation towards this back cathedral side, Right now, there's going to be some tough gunfights here for the likes of Crim6 alongside Karma. Can they get the job done? It's going to be a no. Nope. They rotate a little bit late, and they're going to get punished for it. As Cathedral goes over to Envy here at the beginning, you see how far the members of Optic Gaming are spawning away from this hill on your minimap. They're going to have to pinch from both sides to try and take it back. Maven is just spazzing out watching this game right now. For some reason, he just walked in front of us, started making all these weird hand gestures. I think he's just excited that Formal's currently playing. And, you know, hey, maybe maybe he's the difference maker. When Maven was casting Formal, 1.64 respawn KD. Now I'm casting him, he's 4 and 7. Yeah, it's a, it's a curse whenever you cast Optic. I that is true. I, I read Time that for all Reddit. the tweets to come in. I yep. read that on Reddit, so it's got to be true. Yeah, anything you read on Reddit is 100% factual. Uh, but you do see Optic Gaming coming from the bridge side. They're going to be able to get control of the hard point. And you're going to see Skump against Slasher here. Skump wins that gunfight. He's going to try and get over towards Broken here first. Would be huge if Optic Gaming gets control of this hard point. And this is what we want to see from the Optic Envy series. So evenly matched the score. You saw it 68 to 68 for a brief moment there. Skump doing what he can to try to get these entry kills to try to fight for these back spawns. And we've been talking a lot about how Skump has switched back to the likes of an E-Rat. On a map like Retaliation, this is not one where you bring out that gun quite too often. You're seeing he's having to use the K-Bar here right now, currently leading his team at 11 and 6. But right now, Envy do lock down the spawns early on for this Broken Hill. Yeah, and I thought the difference between these two teams last year towards the end of the year was, you know, Envy just played a little bit of a smarter game. They were rotating a little bit early. And I thought John was just the best player in the lobby at times yeah. last year. And uh, right now at 3-8, and eight, not showing the skill and the potential that he has. But Envy still in control of this game. They're holding this down, Jack. 30 seconds left on this hard point. Now, they take another 15 or so seconds here. It would be a huge for Envy. And right now, it looks like they're going to potentially do exactly that. Slasher with a 1v1 gunfight opportunity just runs out of boost, and it winds up hurting him there. As Skump gets the two entry kills he needs, he's now double positive, and Optic Gaming will bring this game back within seven. So, Matt, we're about to go into our final hill of the first rotation. Biggest takeaways so far from what you see, and what do these teams need to improve upon? I mean, look, it has not been pretty for Optic Gaming, and they're still in this game. If you're Envy, you kind of you get a slow start from everybody outside of Skump, you need to punish him for it. When those players are not playing well, you need to take advantage. You need to build yourself an early lead because you know they're just going to start Ooh. to rack together kills and it's going to spiral out of control and you're not going to be able to withstand. Scump 16 and 8 right now. We critiqued him earlier in the year for a week first event to open up this CWL season. Since then, though, he's been an absolute beast. And right now, he's showing it here against one of America's best in Envious. Still only 10 seconds between these two teams. The kill feed all green for Optic Gaming. It's now four dead on Envy. The green wall will get the clean break and look to take a lead. Yeah, and look, I mean, Skump did not have a great first event. We kind of got on him a little bit, and it was really just he was not dedicated to the game, was not putting in as much time as he should have been. Yep. And as soon as you no know, formal kind of gets on him, they, they really kind of push him to scrim. You're seeing Skump play lights out. I mean, this is the type of Skump play we're used to seeing. Yeah, and there's a reason why he's been regarded as arguably the best in the last five years of Call of Duty. At the end of the first rotation, it's a 10-second game. Again, though, the kills on rotation for Optic Gaming. And now, Matt, look at the combined streak. You've got four from Formal, three from Crib, six, four from Skump. That slang beginning to wake up for Optic Gaming, and look at the difference making in the scoreboard. Yeah, it, it always happens. I mean, you're not going to keep them down for that long. You're, they're going to start erupting. Right now, you have Formal on a four streak. You had Skump on a four streak, and Crim 
on a four streak as well. I mean, once these guys start to get going, they're difficult to stop, almost impossible to stop, Jack. And when you do have, you know, the early control in the game, you need to get a huge lead because then when this starts to happen, you still have some leeway. You can still rotate a little bit early. You can really focus down on one hill, try and keep the game in your favor. Right now, Envy just needs to get in a straight up shootout with them and it's not a good sign. Yeah, and right now you have the likes of Crim6 being able to get some pressure on that hard point, does die there and come off the spawn. Optic Gaming, they did get the majority of the time, the last time, on this lower street hard point. As to now look at the man who's beginning to wake up for the first time this game. He's positive at 15 and 14. We've got Apathy in top bedroom catching Scuff off guard. Yeah, a lot of history between these players as well. I mean, Formal was on Envious for a very long time during Ghost. Yep. You no know, played with Jcap. Uh, you have uh, Karma, who's been on Envy as well. Jcap has been on Optic, so a lot of history between all the players. I know, regardless of organizations in the room. Scott was on Envy for five days. I mean, five days may be a stretch. <laughs> uh, for five hours, possibly. Yeah. There, and as we mentioned, that Optic Gaming with the clean break again, looking to continue to expand on this lead. Matt, I think it's pretty simple, right? And, and am I right in saying that slang is the biggest difference between the first half of this game where Optic were down and now this half where they're in the lead? Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, this is the second four streak we've seen Formal on, Skump now on a three streak, the second streak we've seen him on in the last two hard points. And you see it just reflect in the score. I mean, this is one where we go over towards Bridge and Envy is still in control of this game and Optic has just blown it out of proportions. And right now, they have the rotation for Cathedral as well. These are the kills that Optic Gaming missed out on last time where Envy began to really expand on their lead. Let's see if they have a better take at it now. It does appear so as Skump is here for this new hard point, but the pinch coming in from John from the street side. Skump begins to sniff it on out, wins the first 1v1 there. More pressure coming in as all of his teammates are coming off spawn. Envy looking to get these kills on rotation. Somehow Skump is still alive. Finally does perish, but he's bought enough time for his teammates to flood on. He, he did his job. I yep. mean, he stayed alive long enough to his teammates can come all the way down bridge. Did an excellent job just focusing on that. Market side, Karma's going to pick one up inside of the hard point. And Optic Gaming should be able to withstand control of this, or at least split the rest of this time. Yeah, and 25 seconds would be great for Envy to come back with right now as it would bring them back within striking distance for this next broken hard point. I do believe the rest of the scrap time will go to the boys in blue. And this is also enough time for them though, Matt, to move across the map and begin to put pressure near broken with that gunfight win versus Scump. This setup for Optic Gaming is not ideal for this broken hill. Yeah, well you do see John pushing in from the Three one side. There. One. Yep, they're gonna have a flank set up here. So John's gonna win another gunfight, and now Envy gets control of Broken. This is gonna be very interesting, Jack. You see all the pressure from Optic coming on that bottom side of the minimap. If Apathy picks up a kill or two in the back here, Envy could end up getting a full hold. Apathy's got a tall order ahead of him, so does John. The first engagement coming on through. John's got help. Unfortunately, Optic Gaming are there, and they will stop any scores for Envy. You hear the crowd recognizing it there as well. If Optic can get the rest of this time, they'll be within five seconds of winning map number one. Yeah, what happens there is as soon as Apathy drops in the back, John has to look towards that area inside of the hard point. He gets pushed from the front. He gets taken out. Optic pushes all the way through, cross that bus here on your screen. They're able to get the cutoffs. Still all green in the kill feed. The fourth and final kill is there. Nice job by Formal. Everyone on Optic Gaming getting involved. And now they're beginning to snap. It's Scump and Formal, the duo, paving the way down the top bridge. And Scump with the third. It's a combined 10 streak now for the green wall as they begin to find their bearings in this game. Yeah, and I feel like this is really the first time we've seen Scump be Scump, man. He is absolutely crushing in this one. 38 and 18 right now has really been the difference maker in this one. My goodness, Optic Gaming now 245 to 189. Look at Karma being the sneaky beaver laying down with camo. That is it. And Scump's letting them know 250 to 189 the score. OG up one to zero. And that is one where Envy is hanging around in the first half of the game. And then they just get blown out in the second half. Scump comes alive, Formal and Krim also there picking up tons of kills. And Envy, I mean, they just have to be kind of uh, questioning like what, what went wrong there in the second <laughs> half. They just didn't pick up the kills, Jack. I think Scump, I think Scump heard us talking about how good